Insiders, Marcy here. Hope you're again having a fabulous day. I always hope everyone has a fabulous day because if you're working out with me, hopefully it's making it a little bit better. Um, today's workout is sponsored by a um, company called Donna Jo Fitwear. So I have this tag because I'm gonna read you exactly what it says because I think it's pretty cool. Um, but yes, very, very cute outfit as you can tell. I have a shirt, most of you guys see me in tank top so this is different for me. Um, I have a shirt and it has a really, really cool design in the back. It's um, kind of fishnetted at the top, give you a little bit of breathing air. And these really cute leggings. And I've never worked out in leggings, so this is pretty um, new for me, neat for me, and they're really, really light. And they fit very, very nice, I must say, on the glutes. I won't say booty. <laughs> so very, very nice on the, um, the glutes, and I really like how high rise they are. It's very, very neat. So this company is um, you know, set out just for women out there, guys, so that you are not going to blend in with everybody else, obviously, right? So that you can stand out, wear some fashionable clothes, and really look trendy. And again, it's not just for yoga, it's not just for running, it's not just for hiking, it's for everything. And again, if you wanna wear them on the road, if you have a cute outfit that matches one of these colors, you should totally go for it. So I have this tag once again because I think it's really cool. It says, <clears throat> congratulations, JoJo. Again, Donna Jo is the, um, the brand. So by purchasing a pair of this apparel, you'll become a JoJo. And the company is a strong and positive, and it encourages that helps build one another to reach um, our fitness goals, okay? So JoJo's are trendsetters that love to express themselves in their active wear. So it's not a club, so you don't have to worry about fitting in. It's about um, Donna Joe's community and where you can fit out, and that's a hashtag. So if you wear a pair of this apparel, make sure that you guys are hashtagging fit out because you want to stand out, fit out, and if you're working out with me, you want to be tight as well. So super cool. Again, I'll be doing um, an exercise and workout, new exercises, and I must say, I just changed my workout because I felt these pants look really, really nice. Um, emphasizing the glutes so I'm gonna give you guys some new uh, glute exercises as well as working on our back a little bit because getting to the holidays we want to look nice in our dresses we want to look fab and we always want the hips in tone and the glutes in line so let's get ready go ahead and warm up and do that right now Right, so this is only going to be a five minute workout, very, very express. It's getting close to the holidays. People are rushed for time. You're rushed for work, you're traveling, you're in a hotel, you need exercises, okay? That's what these five minute express workouts are gonna do. And if you do them correctly, you're really gonna get a lot of results. Now I always say, if you have more time and you want to max out your results, do these workouts two or three times more through, making it a 15 minute workout. While it's a short amount of time, you will be completely drenched in sweat if you're doing it properly. So let me go ahead and show you how these exercises are done and let's get started. All right, so again, a five minute workout, five different exercises. I want you to have a piece of weight uh, if you have one, and I just have um, a simple dumbbell. Um, and don't feel you have to go out and buy weights, guys, if you don't have it. Use a bag of rice, you know, just grab onto it, maybe wrap it up with tape so that it won't rip, and uh, just go with it. There's tons of uh, laundry detergent bottles that are heavy enough that you can use as weights, especially if you shop at a Sam's or a Costco. Those are good weights that you can use, especially for kettlebells. But I digress. Okay, so the first exercise, okay, again, we're working a lot on our glutes here, and we're working on our back, okay? We're working on just toning all the body, and these are just some of the neat exercises that I enjoy doing to keep my shape, okay? You ready? So, um, just like yoga, right? Opposite arm, opposite leg, the starting position. I'll start with this one, will be just like this, okay? I'm gonna have you grab the weight, and this is more of an intermediate uh, level exercise, but I do want you to try it regardless. So this back foot is up, you're really flexing it, you're pointing the heel, kind of stretching it as far as you can in that direction. You have your wrist under your shoulder, and here you're gonna be doing a row and a leg lift at the same time. So you're here, you're going to be rowing the same movement as your leg. So it's a lot of coordination, I must admit. Okay, so as you row up, your leg in the back is gonna go up, which is going to work the glutes, you ready? So you're up, <laughs> just like this, small rows. As you can see, I'm losing my balance because I'm probably talking. And you're gonna do small actions just like that. You'll see how much your body will burn. Now, this does not have to be a fast exercise, not at all. I want you to pause a tad bit at the top of your row, squeezing the blades in your back to really emphasize that muscle 
and then bringing it back to the ground. So it's small movement. You're simply rowing and you're lifting your glute at the same time and you will see the difference. So you'll be doing your left side of your body and also your right. Okay, all right, so the next exercise, as you see, I'm bent over, so will you. And this is going to be working out um, our back. And it's gonna be working out this pocket right here that kind of hangs over and sags over our dresses that make us look like we have gained a ton of pounds, right? So I have set out to shrink it, all right? So here, you're going to be bent over. You're gonna start on your opposite foot. And you're simply going to extend your body out with your arm and row back. So you're pulling and you're flexing that dumbbell out to the side. So at a different angle, you're starting at your left foot, right dumbbell in hand. You're extending to your left foot and you're reaching out just like this for this exercise. Okay, and again, pausing a little bit with the reach out, you'll be toning your back, okay? Right arm and also your left arm. Okay, the last exercise, um, you will need two dumbbells if you can. So I'm gonna get my other dumbbell and show you that exercise. I have both dumbbells. This one is simply going to be a bent over row and you're gonna be doing kind of a sumo weighted squat with it to work the glutes, okay? So here with the sumo squat, you have both dumbbells down in front of you and I need you to have a flat back, okay? I don't need you to be rounded over. I need you to really roll the shoulders back and have a flat back. Both dumbbells here. I'm gonna have you row up, come up and squeeze those glutes, and then you're going to be doing a sumo squat with the dumbbells in the middle like this, just like this. So a continuous action, a compound movement, this is how you guys get toned all over your body. So it's really, really good, it should feel good, and your feet can be positioned right outside of the mat for your distance. I have long legs, if you don't have long legs, just bring them in and make sure that it's comfortable, okay? Those are gonna be your five exercises, and I will do it with you. We're doing each exercise for one minute. It will be tough. You need to breathe, you need to drink water. Have your water bottle close by if you need it. Let's get started. All right, hang tighter. So I have my um, music on right now because I really feel like jamming to my music. I wish that I could display my music with you on the YouTube video, but it would obviously be copyright long. Uh, issues but I love house music that's what I'm listening to to get it done and um, some of you know some of you don't know I am now training live in Atlanta so that's super exciting and you will get to experience the house movement as I call it okay I have my interval timer set for five seconds of uh, rest and one minute of work for five rounds we're gonna get it done follow my lead it does not matter what leg you start with on the ground and yeah let's say let's go I'm starting with the right row <clears throat> here we go so get ready, flex that foot back, and let's breathe. One minute, leg lift a row, flex that glute, squeeze the blades of your back. You are going to sweat and you're going to feel great. This is total body. You're working your arms, you're working your legs, your glutes, your abs, your shoulders, you name it. Breathe a lot, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. I feel this left glute. This is also lifting my butt. That's what most people want, keep it up. You guys got it. Almost finished. 10 seconds. Two seconds. Good job, that was a burner. All right, switching sides, let's go. All right, right leg back, left arm row. We're up. So these are kind of low impact exercises. First thing in the morning, it will wake you up and you don't have to do a lot of jumping. If you're in a hotel room or if you are just above somebody at college dorm room, these are great exercises because you're not doing a lot of jumping. We are now 30 seconds in. Keep it up. I'm starting to sweat already. I'm feeling my lower back, my glutes. Thirteen seconds. 
as both of my headphones fall out. <laughs> Keep it up. Five seconds. All right, let me adjust. We are back at it with the pull and row. So your opposite leg and you're rowing out. You're pausing slightly out to the side. Every rep is a breath. Does not have to be fast once again. As you see, I'm resting this other arm on other hand on my thigh. Total body as well. I'm working my back. I'm working my legs because I'm bent over right now. 20 seconds. This is like my totally new favorite exercise. <laughs> Almost done. Three, two, one. Now I can put my other headphone back in. All right, keep it up, let's go. Two more minutes and we're done. Really flex those back muscles. I'm rotating guys so you can see my form. We are 30 seconds in. Extending over right here with this cross is working our abs. It looks easy, but if you're working out with me right now, I'm pretty sure you're feeling it. Almost done, 10 seconds. Let's go. All right, last exercise. Let's crank it out. Squat and row. Here we go. I'm rowing, I'm coming up, and I'm doing my sumo squat. Row it, squeeze your glutes, squat it. This one's gonna get your cardio a little bit. And we are now 30 seconds in and we're done. And you will feel the burn all over your body. You do not have to work out for hours on end to get in really good shape. 15 seconds. I hope you're remembering to breathe. And that's it. All right, that was awesome. Okay, low impact again. You're not jumping, you're not making a whole bunch of noise, and, and this thing is off and it's still beeping, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, good workout. If you're in college, this thing is going crazy. If you're in college or at a hotel room or just upstairs above somebody working out, this exercise is perfect and it is totally toning. I'm sweating right now, might not be able to tell. But we just worked our glutes, we worked those back muscles. You should feel really good. Even though it's a short workout, you still need to be cooling down. Make sure that you guys are doing that. And again, I have a discount code, which is really neat, so that you guys can get a discount on this apparel. Super cute once again, lightweight right now. I don't feel sticky, I don't feel grimy. And yeah, I'm ready for the next workout. So I hope you guys stay fit, stay active, and I will see you for our next workout.